Hello everyone, this is Verse Jones and today I'm bringing another vlog. Now, I felt like I had to, you know, be in person, you know, having a face to what's about to be said is that, you know, this conversation or this topic has been going around for about four weeks now, even though it should not be a conversation. However, I feel like on a certain social media platform called TikTok, I feel that from certain curators, you know, with the, you know, the actual movement that's going on called protect black women at all costs which is fine you know protect black women at all costs is a thing because or it has to be a thing well it is a thing that shouldn't have to be said due to the fact of black women being kidnapped killed raped etc however like i said on tiktok there are certain creators that like to pick and choose on which black women to protect whether it be because they have clout a good following or they're just pretty and the guy in question is just trying to get dog on, you know, coochie points, pussy points, gobble points, etc. Now the TikTok drama that's been going on for the past couple of days is between two creators, King Lion, King and Queen Lion actually, and Straw Hat Goofy. Now Straw Hat Goofy, he does talk a lot about movies, TV shows, and he's a big One Piece fan, and he has got a huge following in the past two years. And we have King and Queen Lion. He is a comic book creator, comic book knowledge connoisseur, and, you know, a good, knowledgeable guy all around. And at one point, these two were best friends and good mutuals for what I've seen. But, you know, I go on TikTok because I haven't gone on TikTok anymore because TikTok is a piece of racist shit, but that's neither here nor there. That's a whole nother conversation for another day. But, you know, as I go back on there, I see the things that's going on. Like, there's like a, a content creator called Frankie and another one called The Joker. Just society made The Joker or some bullshit. I don't know. Um, they basically made some hot takes and King and Queen Lion, you know, humbly disagreed. However... Straw Hat Goofy took it as though as that, you know, King Queen Lion inadvertently put Frankie and the Joker in danger with death threats and whatnot. But King and Queen Lion came back and said that, you know, where was all this energy when King Lion's wife was getting the death threats and whatever. And I've, I've been watching King Lion's t um, content for a long time, and I've seen that drama unfold, so he is not lying about that. And nobody's answering that question, like, from what the live that I've seen. If the live, if you've seen the live, you know what I'm talking about. Like, why are you dancing around the question? Like, why didn't you have the same energy for King Lion's wife when it was happening to her? But you're picking and choosing and saying that, oh, King Lion, you're putting these women in danger by disagreeing with them. And that's what, and that's, that's the whole conversation right there, the whole beef right now. And he, you know, unfollowed him and whatnot. And, but at the same time, I felt like this whole thing could have been avoided with a conversation over the phone instead of, you know, being on TikTok Live. But if you can really ask me, I felt that it was goddamn scripted, in my opinion. But, you know, that's a whole another theory, another whole rabbit hole that I will go down later eventually. How I see this on um, the whole drama with the, the with the two content creators, Straw Hat Goofy and King and Queen Lion, is that... I see King Lion getting flustered and upset because, you know, he's being attacked on all he's being attacked on all fronts all year long and whatnot. And you know, as far as no well, actually ever since I seen him on TikTok, like a lot of folks have been attacking him or whatever. And I can see that the man is tired of defending himself and whatnot and you know and he just wants to be he just wanna have peace and try to, you know, be chill or whatnot. But people be coming after him, and then when he goes after them back, people want to say that he's bullying, that he's bullying them, or he's, you know, promoting hate speech or whatever. You know, all these accusations, you know, saying that he's not a good person just because he's a little loud or whatnot. I can completely understand with, you know, what everybody's saying that he can be a little loud, you know, he can become, he can come off as, you know, mean because I'm the same way. And as I was looking at this whole live and looking at videos, countless videos of them, you know, going back and forth or whatnot, 
And I came to the conclusion that the only reason that Shaw had Goofy is, you know, defending this girl Frankie or the Joker or whatnot is, you know, to try to get the buns. That's, you know, <laughs> let's call it spade a spade. He wants to get the buns and, you know, he's doing whatever he can to get the buns or whatnot. But I guess she is not recognizing it or steady curving him or whatever. And, you know, I don't care if you, you know, say that I'm wrong or, you know, you're going to pick apart my life or whatnot. Because let me go ahead and get out of the way for you. I'm over 200 pounds. Uh, I, this is my base fit, my, uh, you know, man cave or whatnot. Um, I got two children. Um, I have a wife, you know, because I'm, I'm with the whole protect black woman thing, you know, whole movement or whatnot. And uh, what else? Uh, I had an ex. I had an ex, so if you want to go dig her, up, dig her up and go, you know, try to ask about me to air my own um, bullshit out, then go ahead, because I have nothing to hide. Because if you ask me if I said this, I'm going to say, yeah. And then that's another thing, and this is a precursor to another vlog that I will make in the future, is that when I actually tell the truth, people still get mad. I mean, I understand that like, people get mad if like they feel flustered and then they you like yeah and then they'll get upset about it, but they'll get mad because like I'm not even gonna try to lie about it. Like that's you know, but because I adopted of trying to be more honest with people because like I've been lying to my face a whole lot. Like it's so bad to where it's like I'd rather you you know cheat on me, steal from me. Rather than to just sit in my face and lie to my face, even though I, I see all the evidence pouring against you and whatnot. But I'm not digressing. But this whole situation could have, like, sufficed in a whole phone call and whatnot. It didn't have to be a whole show on TikTok. But, you know, as soon as you put it out there for the whole world to see, now everybody's going to form their own opinion or whatever. But from what I've heard from Frankie, she made a bad hot take about Miguel O'Hara from Across the Spider-Verse being racist towards Miles or whatnot. Some bullshit about white Latinas, you know, hating Afro-Latinas. Some bullshit. It was like, I, I seen the movie again to try to see if it was like racially motivated, but it was really the fact that he didn't like the he didn't like the choices that Miles made in the movie, if that makes sense. Then you have uh, Joker, Society Made Joker, whatever the fuck her name is. Um, she condemned Jonathan Majors when that whole scandal came out about him abusing Grace Jabari and whatnot. And, you know, she was just going in on him. But like a lot of black content creators went in on him. But as soon as the truth came out, crickets. Nobody said a goddamn word since the damn truth came out. Like, now you see in the goddamn news that, you know, the uh, Jonathan Major's um, legal team is voting motion to dismiss the doggone case. And as they should, because the broad done damn fled the goddamn country. Now, I can say broad because doggone in the 90s, early 90s, broad was a good term when they say, oh, I got me a good broad or whatnot. They never said, they never called them out their name like how folks be doing these days. But... I have a system with that. You know, you can be broad now, but if you piss me off, you're going to be great. You're going to graduate and be called a bitch. Then I made a joke video. Uh, I'm going to play it um, right after I make this comment. Um, I made a video, a joke about uh, Straw Hat Goofy, you know, saying the only reason he wants to, you know, um, defend these two content creators, these black female content creators is, you know, to get the buns or whatnot. And I'm about to play the clip. Stupid man. Stupid man. Can I please borrow a piece of puss? Please. Then one of my ex mutuals uh, around 4.30 this morning, he stitched a video and then sent the video in my um, inbox or whatnot saying that, oh, the only, it's like, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Actually, I'm going to play the video and do what you will with that. Stupid man. Stupid man. Can I please? Okay, so what you telling me is, what you telling me, let me let me get this straight. What you saying by this post, a black man only defends a black woman when he want to get some. Even if he's defending his mother, his grandmother, his sister, his cousin, his auntie, somebody he cares about, somebody that he's been there for him like they've been there for them. So it. So what you telling me is, we got to want something. 
to protect our black women. That's what you're saying. Cause my response to that is, you're a, you're a weirdo. Cause I don't want to get I don't want to get constant, you know. But but you're a weirdo, and you get none. You need to focus on trying to get some, then talking about somebody else getting some. However, I I mean that's warranted and whatnot, but no, actually it's not warranted because I never say anything about an aunt, auntie sister cousin or anything like that i'm saying women that you have no family ties to whatsoever or strangers at that because you know what happened with all that fiasco with the goddamn woman with who got hit with the brick i wish she gets well however some more scandalous stuff came after that and i'm not going to get into that and then uh most recently for what i saw and i'm gonna play the video i'm gonna play the clip here and I'm uh, I'm gonna just give you backstory of what happened with that, but I'm gonna play the clip. It was um, uh, the mailman. He was, um, I guess, he invaded this woman's home because she had to sign for something. And um, I had recorded and whatnot, and I posted it on TikTok. However, TikTok took it down just because you know it was, I guess, it was a little misunderstanding. Actually, let me double back. At first. Um, they took it down because of like you know violent behavior or whatnot. But, but as soon as it was like oh a black man finna get in trouble, they put it back up. But once the truth got out, saying that oh he still kept his job, and then um, the person who had the letter had malicious intent or was doing a scam or whatnot, they took it down again. But I'm gonna play the clips in this video right now. Do what you will with that. However, all in all, I feel that this whole um, whole movement with the whole protect black women at all costs, like it should be done, not said or reminded and whatnot, because, you know, like I said, a lot of women are being kidnapped, killed, raped, etc. And I, I'm all for it. It's just that don't pick and choose on who to protect and whatnot. And then there's like, and then there's actual women out here or black women who pick and choose or who they want to protect them. Like, if I'm capable of protecting you and I'm right there and you push me away, like, what does that make you look like? And what does that make me look like? For one, it makes me look like a fool. And you, it makes it look like you just, uh, you know, you want to be selective on who you want to protect you if they, you know, look good, smell good, whatever. Not that I say I don't look good or smell good. I'm just saying, like, you know, prime examples. I'm going to give one more example or story. I don't have a clip for it, but I remember years ago, there was this, um, my ex's brother's ex-girlfriend. Um, I, when he was opening the door, we was going to go outside. She fell through the door saying that she got robbed and whatnot. And I guess he picked her up, you know, helped her injuries, made sure she was okay. The next day she, um, came over and I asked, was she okay? But then she got upset at me saying, uh-uh, don't, don't talk to me. Don't, don't talk to me. And I was like, 
I was, and, and then like that moment, I snapped, and I was like, you know what? That's why your ass got jumped. That's probably why your ass got jumped in the first fucking place. Because goddamn, I'm trying to see if you all right and see if you need anything, but your ass want to goddamn, you know, you don't want no help from me. Cause I, cause you think I can't do nothing for you or whatnot. Like you think I want to give you some money or something or no, nah, I could probably do the most for you is like, you know, change your bandage, give you ibuprofen, shit like that. But you know, I guess like I'm not the ideal person you want, you know, want to say, Oh, are you okay? Or whatnot. And that's okay. Just know that I'm no longer going to ask you anything <laughs> remotely. Is it, are you okay or not? Because you know, next week, that next week she was jumped again. And I didn't say not a goddamn word. But, you know, I digress. I just feel that overall, I, I think you can't just pick and choose of who you want to protect and try to make accusations on other people and whatnot just because they, you know, disagree with a person and whatnot. Because all this was over a disagreement, you know, like, because I believe in this world now, like, you know, monetizing, you know, protect black women is um it's kind of like a movement i think like a movement now or a goddamn you know hashtag now like it shouldn't have to be a goddamn hashtag it shouldn't have to be a goddamn fundraiser or nothing like that it should be something that just should be just fucking done i'm sorry but <laughs> i'm i don't, don't want to keep like you know i don't want to get upset you know making this video and i'm trying to stay calm because like i got some more crap going on and behind the scenes and whatnot but that's neither here nor there yeah like i said like these two made two bad takes and like people disagree with them and now when you disagree it's like now in this era in this era now all of a sudden um when you disagree with a online it's automatically misogyny just like if i remember one creator said no actually the same creator said that if you prefer Avatar Aang over Avatar Core, you are a misogynist by default. Do you know how fucking stupid that fucking sounds? Like, seriously. Newsflash, we grew up on fucking Aang. Now, I think Core is an exceptional Avatar, and I feel that, you know, I did a video for her stating that, you know, she gets a lot of hate in the community, and I made a video defending her, like I said. And, you know, you can watch that video and click the card above if you need to. At the end of the day, though, I, I feel that, you know, this whole thing could have been avoided. And nobody should be like, you know, saying who is worth protecting and who is not worth protecting. Because if you're not protecting this person, then don't try to preach that, you know, all black women need to be protected if you're only protecting a certain few. Don't be a pick and chooser just because they got a following clout or they potentially going to give you some ass. Yes, I said it. And this is going to go on YouTube, TikTok, what have you. And if anybody want to, you know, debate with me or, you know, comment on if I'm wrong or right or whatnot, please let me know in the comments or whatnot. Just, you know, but be respectable because if not, I'm not going to say nothing because, you know, you are you know, you're a troll on the fucking internet or whatnot. I'm not going to say nothing because, you know, you're not going to rob my goddamn feathers. Like, you're not going to tell me some things that I already don't know. Like, let's get it out the way. Oh, like I said, 200 pounds, um, facially challenged for, for some people. Um, uh, I got gray hairs. Um, I look like the dude that says, where my hug at, even though I do, but I only ask a hug for my wife and my daughter and my son. So do with that what you will but i believe that's all that i have for today um like i said if you feel some kind of way about it or if you have your own take about it let me know in the comments um i also have a discord so if you want to um join that the link will be in the description below you can talk to me anytime i will be respectful as long as you be respectful to me and uh, i also have um kick um twitch and uh what's the other one uh, stream labs well everybody has stream labs in order to stream on everything but i also do streams of uh video games and whatnot and then i also make regular videos you know reviewing movies tv shows anime video games etc and i have a weekly sh um, or a daily show weekly i don't know weekly or whatever it's called burst talk i just celebrated the 100 episode it was live 
and I had a great time, and, you know, I'm hoping to get to episode 200, but like I said, I'm digressing again, um, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you all next time.